Year 9. The Rule of Frederick. The magma has cooled. The maddened inhabitants of West Headshoots have all perished. All that's left are the legions of mangled animals, refusing to die no matter how hellish their wounds. There are over 70 animals wandering around like zombies in there. Place gives me the willies. Engravings of dwarfs running around on fire, killing each other. Let's make East Headshoots grand enough to rival what West Headshoots once had been. Surely we can learn from our past mistakes and not grow as arrogant as we once were. Life was peaceful for a while, as I ordered the men to brew more beer, crank out stone tradecrafts, smooth out the tunnels, and prepare for the spring caravan. This year, we must swallow our pride, and out of necessity, trade with those bastards. Barely two weeks into the year, though, the goblins besieged us. I ordered all the civilians inside, and because with so many Marx goblins in their horde it would be foolish to fight in open terrain, I stationed our military on our farms, just inside the door. Let their bloody corpses fertilize our crops. The cowardly goblins refused to attack us, instead cowering in three separate squads in the south and east of our land. So, I ordered our troops to engage each squad one at a time. First, moving to the south, Tyskill led the charge, slicing off the entire right side of a goblin from the shoulder to the leg. Barely a single limb left unlopped, our squad came out with only a couple minor head injuries. Early on, an arrow glanced off Tyskill's upper spine, and somewhere in the chaos, wandering Knitter bruised his brain. It didn't take long to dispose of the first squad. Holistic Detective led the charge on the second squad, a motley assortment of wrestlers and spearmen. Confident in the protective power of trail machines, the Fellowship of Right, her adamantine plate mail, she entered a martial trance, mowing through their flimsy ranks, slashing at the goblin surrounding her, launching one, chasing it down, and killing it in mid-air while Wandering Knitter waded into the melee, launching one goblin thirty or more squares away dead on impact. From that point, victory was quick in coming, with most goblins becoming separated from their limbs by our axes and swords. The third squad, composed of all the Marx goblins, turned tail and fled when they learned what happened to their compatriots. Head shoots is safe once more. After vanquishing the goblin siege, very little of note happened for the rest of the year. Migrants have caught word of our troubles with demon madness and refuse to come despite all of our wealth. The elves don't dare show their faces around here, but the humans were brave enough to make a showing. They show up to the sight of all seven of us working dwarves stumbling into the daylight, vomiting uncontrollably lugging huge bins of stone mugs and bone idols. I'm sure they wondered to themselves at the speed at which a once proud and mighty fortress had fallen so low. But they brought some lumber, which we greedily snapped up. Never again shall we have a shortage of booze. We'll build barrels out of every tree there is! We've got a two full year supply of booze now, which isn't much compared to the two decades supply of food we have but enough to put hope into the hearts of the most miserable dwarves. Since Abmeista is a crazy cat lady, this picture is of all of her pets, some of which were incinerated during the Troubles, I assigned White Cloak to slaughter all the stray cats before Abmeista can adopt them. Some may call it cruel to coldly kill such a crippled and mangled cat, but what good is a crippled cat at catching vermin? Someone's going to need to keep up with all the animal breeding. There's a lot more animals than there were before. Either train up a ton of war dogs, which we don't really need, or slaughter them all and build a tower out of soap from their fat. Right now there's a logistics problem, which leads to a lot of rotting chunks and meat from slaughtered animals, but I think the food hauling backlog of random work is close to being finished by now.